Hello everyone, welcome to the Django tutorial series. I'd like to thank you for taking your first step in learning Django. Django is a high-level Python web framework that encourages rapid development and clean, pragmatic design. Built by experienced developers, it takes care of much of the hassle of web development, so you can focus on writing your app without needing to reinvent the wheel. It's free and open source. It was initially released in the year 2005, almost 16 years back. It's a big, massive beast, but along with that, it has a big, supportive community accessed through numerous forums, channels, and dedicated websites. It's easy to find help when there's a problematic function in the code and to find developers if your company is looking to base its next project on Django. Django started off with great documentation, the best of any other open source framework, and it's still maintained on a high level, updated along with the new functions and fixes, so you can easily adapt to changes. Django is definitely an extremely scalable and well thought out framework. It will allow you to scale your application horizontally and be able to support hundreds of millions of requests as we have seen in the cases of Instagram, Bitbucket, Discuss, and more. I hope you are aware of Instagram. It currently features the world's largest deployment of the Django web framework which is written entirely in Python. Spotify also uses Django, and they heavily rely on Python. There are tons of great examples of how Django is being used in production. This tutorial is completely focused for beginners, or someone who wants to do a sneak peek with Django, along with testing, building, deploying applications in AWS. Stay tuned because we're going to feel the power of Django in the upcoming tutorials.